Ahoy, mateys. Right now, I be reading from me pirate book, Pirate versus Pirate, with beautiful illustrations by Alexandra Boyger. I dedicated this book to me husband, who loves a pirate story. So I'm going to read the dedication. To Christopher, a true treasure of a guy, here be the pirate tale ye craved. And I'll just tell you that it's a story about Bad Bart, a guy pirate, and a girl pirate named Mean Mo. And they both want to be the biggest, baddest pirate in the world. So are you ready, mateys? Bad Bart was the biggest, earliest pirate this side of the Atlantic. But he wanted to be the biggest, earliest pirate in the world and the richest. So one day he roared, hoist anchor, me hearties, raise high the flag, we sail till I be the best. Meanwhile, another pirate tapped her gold tooth and squinted out to sea. Mean Mo was the maddest, mightiest pirate this side of the Pacific. But am I the maddest, mightiest pirate in the world, she wondered, and the richest. So she set sail to find out. The earth being round, the two met in the middle. Ahoy and avast, roared Bad Bart. Swing aside and let me pass. Swing yourself, ya you scurvy dog. Mean Mo roared right back. Bad Bart blinked. He wasn't used to back talk. He tried again. I be the biggest, burliest. And I be the maddest, mightiest, Mean Mo interrupted. I'll not move for a rogue like ye. And then they called one another all sorts of bad pirate names. They called one another rogue and deck swabber and grog swiller and landlubber and bilge rat and sea skunk. But the worst of all, Mean Mo turned to Bad Bart and called him a <coughs> gentleman. And Bad Bart turned to her and called her a lady. Such insults. Bad Bart stamped off to his quarters, Mean Mo to hers. They sulk and stewed for two whole days before they came out again. And then they decided they were going to have a great big fight, one ship against the other. And this is where I like to ask all me young mateys out there, why is a big fight not a good idea? And that's when the kids will tell me, oh, Captain Q, because they like to call me Captain Q when I'm dressed like this. I say, oh, Captain Q, it's not a good idea to have a fight because you hurt somebody, you hurt yourself, you ruin your ships. So I tell them they're absolutely right, and that is what the crew thought too. So Mean Mo and Bad Bart want to have a big fight. Mean Mo, ye be getting one more chance. Bad Bart hollered, will you swing aside or no? Never, roared Mean Mo. Ready the cannons, men. Oh, wait a minute, Captain, piped up Bad Bart's rowdy crew. Blowing holes in the ships won't do. Mean Mo's rascally crew agreed. You need to figure this out fair and square, just the two of you. So they decide to have a contest, and whoever wins the contest will be 
the biggest, baddest pirate in the world. A race, mean mo challenged, unless ye be scared of a few wee sharks. Bring on the sharks, bad Bart roared, at least their teeth be straighter than yours. And with that, the two jumped into the sea. They splashed and swam, floated and freestyled, dived and dog paddled. They wore out 20 sharks. And at the end of three whole days, the crews said it was a tie. Arr. I call for another contest, Bad Bart puffed out his chest. Can that girly arm throw a cannonball? An answer, Mean Mo grabbed one and hurled it oh, far out to sea. Plop! Bad Bart grabbed and hurled. Plop! And they grabbed and hurled and grabbed and hurled and grabbed and hurled. Plop, 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 plop for four whole days till they ran out of cannonballs. And the crew said it was a tie. Arr. Then there was mass climbing. And the crew said it was a tie. Arr. And arm wrestling. And the crew said it was a tie. Arr. And even hard tack eating. And so I like to ask me young mateys, what be hard tack? And they say, mmm, it'd be like a very hard cracker, Captain Q, so hard that when you bite into it, sometimes you break a tooth. So they had a hard tack eating contest. And the crew said it was a tie. Arr. Well, Bad Bart may have been the biggest earliest pirate, but clearly Mean Mo was the maddest and the mightiest. Twas only one contest left. It be time for a treasure count. The crews poured out grog, and I ask me young mateys what be grog, and they tell me it's like Hawaiian punch with a kick. The crews poured out grog and settled on deck. Bad Bart dragged up his treasure chest. Mean Mo cracked her lock. And they commenced counting. Bad Bart counted one, two, three pieces of treasure. Mean Mo counted four, five. Such shine and sheen, such glitter and gleam. Bad Bart counted 47, 48, 49 pieces of treasure, and Mean Mo counted 62, 63, 64. Piles of gold and jewels, mounds of rings and belts and crowns. Mean Mo counted 782, 783, 784 pieces of treasure. And Bad Bart counted 835, 836, 837 pieces of treasure. Whew. Finally, Bad Bart leaned back and gasped, 1,900. 53. 1,953? Mean Mo shrieked. That means you. And I'm going to end the story right there, mateys. But I've got to ask you, how many of you think that Bad Bart won the contest and was the biggest, baddest pirate in the world? Raise your hand. And how many of you think it was Mean Mo who won the contest? Raise your hand. And how many of you think that it might have been, as the crew thought, a tie? Arr. 
So you have to read the story in its entirety to find out what happened.